Welcome, my name is Hernan David Vergara Pestana. I'm going to talk about the sliding motor control of a DC DC book converter. Electronic power converters are used and after for electromechanical systems. Here we can see uh, some examples of uh, the DC DC book converter. In order to obtain the desired response, the sliding model technique changes the structure of the controller in response to the changing state of the system. Uh, this is realized by the use of a high speed switching control, forcing the trajectory of the system to move and to stay in a predetermined surface, which is, which is called the sliding surface. Uh, the book converter show in the past slide can be described by the following set of equations where here we have the inductor equations and the capacitor equations given by the state of the transistors and the uh, output voltage and the source voltage uh, in the capacitor the, the, the inductor current and the output current and the two states of the transistor. The sliding model provides a method to design a system in such a way that the control system is to be insensitive to parameter variations and external load disturbance. It has two modes, the reaching mode and the sliding mode. The reaching mode is with the trajectory move toward the sliding line from an initial point and the sliding mode is which the, the state trajectory moves to origin along the switching line and the state never leaves the switching line. Uh, here we have all the mathematical model uh, of the controller design. Uh, here we have the, the state space equations. The first equation in state space where the control for DC DC converter is to regulate the output voltage to a desired level. So the desired output, in this case the current, it's given by the desired voltage uh, divided the, the load. The load. The task is to ensure the actual current X1 tracks the desired current. That is, in a steady state, the output voltage should be the desired voltage. The voltage of the capacitor, the capacitor is equal to the desired voltage if this is OK. Uh, the sliding model controls use a sliding surface which ensures output voltage to go to the desired value once the system gets into the sliding surface. Here we have the reaching mode that I talked uh, in the past slide and the sliding mode. Here's, here is when the converter uh, starts from an initial point and gets to the switching line and the sliding mode uh, forced to the system to never leave and get to the desired value. Uh, this means that the control forces the system to involve the of, on the sliding surface. Uh, in order to enforce the sliding mode to maintain the error equals zero, the control law of the system is this, where we control the switching of the transistor. Since the aim is to guarantee that the trajectory of the system is direct to the sliding surface. Uh, well, the simulation of the controller it was made with a source voltage of 20 volts, the 40 millihertz, um, 4 mic microfarads, and uh, 4 ohms. The simulation results uh, here we can see uh, a change on the load. Uh, um, at 4 milliseconds and we can see that the controller of the voltage is very good or too good 
uh, when the when the load change yeah, the voltage uh, it makes a little peak but it gets to it get well controlled and the current of the of the converter where the at this little low line uh, it's when the the load change so when the load uh, gets up on the current goes down if here we can see again when the current goes up and the loads go down but uh, it also control the another change of the load uh, controlling the output voltage to again 10 volts where is the is the set point of the controller the conclusions the simulation results show the validity of the sliding model control book converter and in general speaking the sliding model control is regarded as a robust feedback control technique with respect to match on model external perturbations, signals and plan parameter variations. Thank you.